if you're excited about agriculture and you like new technologies and, and things are going well and the crops are growing well and, and you're profitable, then that translates around the dinner tables. This farm has been in our family for a little over 40 years and my wife Denise and I took it over a little over 25 years ago. So right now we're operating it with our family. There's uh, Denise and I and our four kids. Two of them just graduated from university in ag uh, uh, business studies, third one in, uh, in a business uh, studies at Laurier, and our youngest in high school still. So they aren't involved yet, but they're interested. I've been farming for 30 years now, and, and we, very, we don't do very many things that we did 30 years ago. We've been growing biotech crops for 10 years or more uh, since, since uh, herbicide-resistant soybeans came out. Uh, they've increased our yield, increased our profitability. Uh, and giving us the flexibility to do a variety of things. So uh, we couldn't do no-till on every field previous to having crops that were resistant to glyphosate. Uh, now it allows us to do that. We're also using uh, stack traits cor corn, which gives us uh, insect resistance and herbicide resistance. And again, we're seeing uh, better weed control, better crop safety. If the weather doesn't cooperate with us uh, when we're supposed to, be, or when we should be spraying. We can go at a later time without doing any damage to the crop. Uh, and again, in those as well, yields are, yields are better, standability is better, harvesting ease. Uh, we see tremendous benefits with them. Growing the crops we grow are, are, are difficult, if not impossible, without crop protection products. We have to control the weeds. We have to maintain the yields in order to be profitable. Uh, and they've allowed us to do some different things to, to be more sustainable. We've been doing no-till practices uh, with, with a couple of our crops for probably 20 years on this farm. Uh, mostly soybeans and wheat at the moment. Uh, once we had crop protection products that would control the weeds, we were able to no-till. We've got fairly light, light soil here, so we want, we're, we're real concerned about soil erosion, uh, both wind and water, and with no-till we can leave the, leave the uh, residue on top. Uh, we've been able to employ practices and, and specialized machines to make it work, and our yields have been, uh, have been pretty well on with conventional tillage, and our costs are lower, so it works out well from a sustainability standpoint. One of the things that we do to keep the farm sustainable is to control soil erosion. So as well as no-till, we also do some windbreak planting. Uh, this particular farm is really sandy with some wide open areas where lots of wind comes. So the last 10, 15 years we've been working on, on filling in the gaps with the windbreak. So you, I don't know whether you can see the, the small evergreens, but every year we planted a couple hundred to start with. Every year we plant five or six. One of the other things that we do on this farm is uh, practice a crop rotation. Uh, most of our rotation is a four-year rotation. We grow soybeans, uh, followed by corn, followed by soybeans, and then followed by wheat. Uh, and as we ro rotate crops, each crop uh, produces more. Uh, we break disease cycles. We're able to practice different uh, 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 agronomic practices, which help keep weeds and, and insects uh, under control. What we're trying to do is maintain good farming practices and, and sustainability because we, for a couple of reasons, I've got kids that are interested in farming, they want to take over, we want to keep the soil producing for forever, uh, so we do these practices to keep the topsoil in place, to keep the productivity there. If the kids are interested and we can grow the business, and that's, that's what our intent is, we want, to, we want to expand, we want to make room for them, we want them to carry on and, and do those sorts of things, so, uh, you know, I tell them all, if you can find something that you like to do, it's not a job. Some of us are lucky.